Now we can continue with the island kitchen and the wall units. For this, I go to the base cabinets. I drag the 60 centimeter cabinet from the one door cabinets and complete it. See, since there is no space left on any wall right now, the program automatically put it outside. Now, how do we take it and put it where we want, and how do we dimension it? For this, I switch to the intelligent screen, the screen with our main variables to the technical view. From the top view, the technical view, I take it to the module and bring it to zero of the point I want. From here, I want to move it 15 centimeters in four directions. We have a 15 centimeter margin. I want the same one and copy and paste. The program can do automatic dimensioning here, but I don't want it right now. Look, I place the two side by side like this. From here, if you want, I can press the A here and move to the facade of whichever wall you want to move to the facade. I clicked on the wall, pulled it backwards, clicked on it again, and I can see it like this. I'm back in the top view. I'm going back to my main view. And here I want to use a 60 centimeter two-door module like this from the wall cabinets 134. When I drag it, the program will put it next to them again. I double click on it. Here in the all handles model, I will use handleless model. I'm going down this way. I don't want any handles. It's 60 centimeters wide by 32 centimeters deep. And when I say OK, the cabinet is changed accordingly. When I want to move it, I switch to the facade view, select my cabinet, and paste it automatically. I can move it 5 centimeters in both directions so that there will be a bench space with the upward bench distance. We can copy and paste another one of the same next to this one. Yes, I left the bench space here. We can revise this again when I add a bench in a little while. Then we continue with the name part. I enter the base cabinets again from here. Two drawers. I am dragging the 80 module screen. If we want to position it again from the top image to position it, for example, I can place it here and even measure the distance there and make these measurements vertically or horizontally with automatic dimensioning. Look this way or if we want. This way we can make our dimensioning. We can make manual dimensioning. So from this point to that point, we can dimension it again if we want. I select my cabinet. After selecting it, I scroll and scroll 129 centimeters in the four directions and right click on it and rotate 180 degrees. After selecting this, I can select the next cabinet that opens in the type section after selecting it. I can choose from here as right or left. I want to add a sync module next to it. Look at the 80 sync drags again. This time it will go here. I can also make it look like a single door module for now. Yes, that's how I completed it. If we turn around the island like this, I want to put panels on the sides of the island. I want to make these panels a little deeper and create a seating area here with the bench. I want to create. Now let's continue with this. This is how I came in and out of here. I'm taking the side panel that we see here from the cover material and this is how it places it here. I've zoom it like this. It will snap automatically with the drag and drop method. I double click on it. Our own depth is 57. We have a height of 57 and a width of 60. We want it to extend another 30 centimeters. I want the height of 3090 to be 82. I brought it here. If you want, I can direct it with the arrow keys from the keyboard. Let's check it on the three-dimensional screen.
I want some of the distance to be zero from the ground. Yes, that's exactly the way it is. And now I have the same exact cabinet from this one. I'm doing copy and paste. I don't want the help lines. I got the measurement lines module. I drag and paste the module to the area I want to see. Here, if you wish, you can use the arrow keys again or the drag and drop method right now on both sides. And that was the end of that. My kitchen cabinet layouts are complete. Let's continue with additional panels and devices.